Hello everyone, this is the teaser video for this coming Sunday, September 1st. Yes, we are into September already. Wow, August seems to just fly by and we have things coming up. The The next last quarter or last trimester of the year is going to fly by. I mean, you think of fall family weekend and the holiday season and Christmas. So a lot of things coming up. Um, but the passage for today is 1 John chapter 1, verses 1-4. through 4. So it's the opening of the letter of 1 John. Now... This past Sunday, I talked about, um, you know, God doesn't mind us digging in, looking for the facts, looking for the information. He does, he does, he's not upset that you doubt. He wants you to find the answers, <clears throat> look it up and, and, and dig because all the answers do point to him. And when we talk about creator or intelligent design versus <clears throat> a big bang, random occurrence and uh, type of theory. And so God doesn't mind that you want to dig deeper because all the facts and evidence will point to him. But when we talk about facts and evidence, we talk about the need for reliable information. So when you're digging and you're, you're looking for facts, how do you know your source is reliable? What, what, what makes you believe that that source is more reliable than another sir, source? And in today's world with news medias and news channels, you can find different channels that have different spins on the same um, topic, you know, is it an invasion or is it a liberation? Yeah, I guess that depends on which channel or which side um, you're looking at. We know history is usually written by the victors, so that means the opposing side rarely is their uh, reasoning or stuff become public knowledge. So the key is finding reliable information. And another topic that's talked about in this passage is fellowship. Um, and Fellowship is a very churchy word that's thrown out there quite a bit. Christian fellowship, time of fellowship. And it's used in the church quite a bit. And it's used in this passage in 1 John chapter 1, verses 1-4. through 4. So what does fellowship mean? I actually will close my sermon looking at three things that kind of determine um, fellowship as it means in the church sense. And it's, it's key to know the foundations that make up what true fellowship is and what is required for something to be fellowship. So that's why I, I want you to look at, you know, determine, you know, how you have reliable information. We're, re we're reading a, the letter from First John. How do we know what uh, John is saying here is reliable? Um, why would we consider um, it reliable? Those are the questions that people will ask you if you're talking to them about your faith, and we need to be able to answer those types of questions. So I look forward to seeing everyone on Sunday. Until then, take care and be safe.